Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Kev the Barber with another classic. Before I start this video, I want to let you guys know that it's because of you guys why I'm doing this very video. Hibachi24, I believe his name is. I'm going to put his comment right here featuring him in this video simply because he asked me to do this video. You guys can do the same. Just uh, comment down below. Let me know what type of video you want to see. And if you see a comment that you also agree with, just press the like button for that comment and it will um, improve the likelihood of me doing that video. Thank you for watching, thank you for picking this video, thank you for picking the barber's table. Get right into it. The very first clipper I'm gonna start with are the Oster Fast V. It's a lightweight, easy to handle, powerful pivot motor clipper. Its sleek front gives it a simple yet stylish look, and the grooves in the back provide a much needed grip that allows for a better hold, even if you get sweaty hands like myself. I've grown to love this clipper, man. My favorite clipper, as I mentioned. I don't know about any other barbers, but I care about certain details like where the power switch is. It's so easy for me to turn on and turn off this clipper because my thumb is right by the switch. I don't understand why anybody would put it anywhere else, but it's perfect, it's just perfect. It's also extremely quiet. Many clients have asked me, yo, are them things on? To which I always reply, <sighs> nah, I'm, I'm just here for my health. I just wanted, you know, I really just wanted to stand here and Watch you sit in a chair. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. When I first got this clipper, I really hated it, man. The stock blade was terrible. Couldn't zero gap it. And I didn't see why people like 360GZ ever picked up one of these clippers. Then I found a zero gapping video. Changed my life, my entire life. But unfortunately, you also have to change your blades. It's a white ceramic blade. I'll explain all the benefits to this blade in my zero gapping Oster feed slash feed line video place it right here this suggested separate purchase may be considered a con but it's well worth the money the price of this clipper this specific one is a speed line they have $70 and the Oster fast feeds which are the burgundy ones you guys are probably used to seeing are $55 I'll put the links below both on Amazon you can get them cheaper if they're used but I don't trust people so I don't do that if you're the type that loves looking inside your clipper and understanding what's going on within it this one is very low maintenance. You can understand it quickly and doesn't take much to maintain, unlike an Andes Master. You can hear the hair coming right off this clipper. I don't really have much bad things to say about this, but for since this is made of completely plastic, durability seems to be an issue with this very clipper. You cannot really have a lightweight clipper and it also be durable so this one chose lightweight over durability so that's just that lastly the adjustable arm is a bit sensitive i've tried to tighten it many times last week on i had i actually cracked the side of the arm so the arm wouldn't stay in place but other than that i have nothing but great words to say about this clipper now we're going on to number two, where we see the Andes Masters. The metal encased beast is the most famous of them all. Powerful, beautiful, and loved by many. So much so that many are probably confused at why I placed this second, which is why I'll start with the cons, is it's real heavy metal, like Ozzy Osbourne heavy metal, which as stated before, is the price one pays for durability. So you can already expect this clipper to be extremely durable. But since I got the hands, you know, I don't need I don't need it to be too durable. I just love the light, quick cuts. You understand what I'm saying? Secondly, it's high maintenance. It's a pretty good clipper, but everything you have to do with this clipper, if it starts shifting, if it starts getting a little bit different, is inside of the clipper. You have to zero gap it from the inside. You have to adjust it sometimes from the inside if the screw on the side isn't working. It's just too much. And it's complex clipper demands for a complex maintenance. As stated before, it's an extremely powerful clipper. One may think that there are only pros when it comes to power. I'm sure 50 Cent thinks so, but there are cons as well. One major pro would be taking down bulk for wave cuts or brush fades or anything like that. But the con comes in when you're fading or feathering. Take a look back at the Arsta Fast Feeds. It takes off just a of hair, just a 
a sound. Like it just, you know, it's not too much. It's just just right. Where you can feather, you can play with the hair, flirt with the hair like your ex did with your best friend, and then make sure that the fade is crisp. I hated it screws. It's the tiny screws come in way too tight. Um, make sure that you get a screwdriver that has a nice grip because if you try and get one that doesn't have one You can mess up those screws and have to buy another one. They go for what 50 cents or something. It's not too bad But I I just hate the hassle last but not least this clipper is just blazing hot can only cut for a good It's 25 minutes and you got to put that down put some cool spray on it and that's it Okay, now moving on to the pros I already mentioned the power, so I'll stop the advertisements for 50 cent. But another great thing that masters have that seem to be unique to masters are the notches that are on the side. It is so cool to see these things on the side where you can always check where you are, what, how much hair you cut off by seeing the gauge on the side. This seems to be perfect for beginners. As you become better or you become a pro or whatever, you tend not to look at the side for uh, to save time or you know whatever another pro to this famous clipper is that it cuts extremely close the closest cut that can be done by any adjustable clipper to my knowledge is the one right here if you switch it out with the sw the fade blade but even if you have the taper blade on it's still a pretty close cut now we have the wall seniors this is number three this half metal half plastic senior is the daddy of all adjustable wall clippers it's also another great clipper the second adjustable clipper i purchased and i wasn't disappointed this clipper is comparable to the andis masters in power and proficiency many renowned barbers like vic the barber and julius caesar use this clipper and create great cuts it is a good weight, not as light as the Oster Fast Feeds and not as heavy as the Andis Masters. As I stated before, I love detail and not only does this clipper look absolutely beautiful, but it's a functional clipper. It forms into your hand, the thumb grooves, promotes an amazing hold that Andis and Oster have yet to be. Only have two cons even though they are extremely huge. As I said before, the heat is a problem. Since we have so much metal on this thing, it conducts a lot of heat. And secondly, Wall has this big problem where they go from a half guard to a one guard to a one half guard to a two guard. It shouldn't take four steps to get to two, which is, you know, it's a little time consuming. Um, and this doesn't have this problem. It goes from no guard, zero guard, one guard, two guard. So that's, you know, pretty dope. Also, the length of hair that an open no guard cuts is shorter than an andis and an oster so what that means is that the arm bar doesn't cut longer hairs than the andis thank you for watching this whole video if you like it give it a thumbs up comment down below let me know what you think and if you have any more suggestions for another video just comment down below give me your suggestions and i'll try and make another video just like this one which you featured on it be sure to follow me on instagram there i show cuts and introduce different types of things so that you can be in tune with me that's where i'm the most active or whatever that's the best social media to contact me at to see to comment whatever just make sure that you go on instagram and check that out Thank you very much for watching again. See you guys later.